Miss Renee Show. Oh, yeah, we are. Miss Renee Show. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. Good night, y'all. Welcome to the Renee Allen and Friends Show. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful evening in the nation's capital. And we're right across from Howard University. H-U, you know, yes. My niece Shana graduated from there, cum laude. I'm so proud of her. Listen, happy Veterans Month. We'll be celebrating veterans all month. Of course, you know I'm a 21-year retired veteran, and I love this country. I salute all of the veterans who are watching today and who are not able to watch. God bless you, and I honor you. I salute you for all that you've done for our country so everyone can do what they want to do in this life, protecting our borders. God bless you, and keep up the good work. Uh, you know, I want to show a few pictures. I showed it last week, but the four generations of military in my family, starting with my grandfather, who was a pointer in the army, which means he was the one that went out before the troops to, to kind of see where the mines were. And unfortunately, the, one of the mines blew one of his legs off. And this is what happened to a lot of our fallen soldiers. Um, unfortunate for our family, he made it through and survived. But that was our first generation. Then my father, Lee Douglas Frazier, who served in the army honorably, he passed away last November. Thank you for all the support you gave me last year here at the studio. That's our second generation. And then, of course, myself. I retired E6, E7, board eligible. I never did C time, so they wouldn't promote me, although I practically aced the test. But I love our country. And then, of course, my niece, who is proudly serving right now, Ariel Dukes in North, not North Carolina, um, New Orleans, NOLA, and doing a fine job. So that's our four generations. Send on Facebook your generations or your military picture, and I'll post them, OK? I'm really, really proud of you. Also, we have some things going on. Oh my goodness. I want to talk about Playtime is Over, and we have a treat at the end of this segment for you. Tammy Turner is here, and she is going to blow your mind live right here in the studio with the song that they launched at Playtime is Over over this two day, oh, phenomenal, phenomenal women's conference at the uh, Hilton, yes, Crystal City. It was amazing. Um, so, Let's go with Cheryl Wood. We showed it. Can you show that again? So I want to talk about who's in there. Cheryl Wood um, is an alumni of this WLVS studio. I was actually on her show over three years ago when uh, Jeremy came out and said, "Hey, do you want a show?" And I was like, "No," but there was. <laughs> I ended up coming anyway, <laughs> and he was very influential. And I'm so glad he did. <laughs> Remember that, Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, you won, darling. And so anyway, Cheryl, um, we've been friends for eight years, and I was on her show on a women's panel, and so that's how everything started. But Cheryl Wood is just a phenomenal international speaker, a coach, uh, a big, huge heart and soul for a lot of women across this globe. And I'm so honored to be her friend. I was her red carpet correspondent for the entire weekend. We had so many wonderful people, but really, who really stood out in my mind um, and, and my soul was one Dr. Heavenly from Married to Medicine. Oh my goodness. That lady is nothing but the truth. She was there and poured into the women and poured into the earth, as um, Lady Nakia Wright says so much. And then there was Darren um, Henson, uh, who choreographed soul food and all kinds of different things. Uh, awesome, awesome gentleman. One of the few gentlemen that poured into the women, and he did so gracefully and talked about his grandmother and mother and all these different women who poured into him. And I really wish a lot of men would walk in the light of a Darren Henson. But it was just phenomenal, y'all. Just so many wonderful people. So we'll be talking about that a little later with Tammy. Um, and she, she can blow, y'all. She can blow. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, I want to wish my sister Lisa a happy birthday. She was actually born on Veterans Day. And uh, she's the middle of the three of us. I'm the oldest right there. My dear sister Lisa Frazier in Connecticut. Yes, I love that one right there. That's my angel right there. <laughs> White is so appropriate. She is, um, she's the angel of our family. Um, also, what do I, else do I have? So much to, oh, let me talk about some things that are going on this weekend. One is uh, Women Veteran Rock. And Rock is all capital letters. Um, it's a wonderful organization that uh, really celebrates, inspires, empowers, and and edifies women. So I'm in, right? And so I just happen to be the MC. It's going to be an amazing uh, event. And I welcome all of you to come and join me. 
And uh, you can, if you can see that, is that, or actually go on the Facebook and you'll be able to pick it up. Also, um, I don't have a flyer for this, but there's going to be an event on Sunday. Do we have that um, military flag with the gentleman? Yeah, that's their one of their pictures. But let me see if I can find. Uh, yeah, First Church. Here it is. It's First Church of Christ. And it's going to be on the 12th, 8.30 and 11 o'clock. 8.30 is Marcella Rutherford, a veteran who, uh, a woman veteran who is also the only female um, builder in Baltimore, Maryland. And she's a retired officer. She will be speaking at 8.30. I'll be speaking at 11 o'clock. And this is just really uh, appreciations for veterans. So. Um, I'm always I'm always about veterans. You can get me. That's my soft spot. All right. So the other thing, what else is going on? Oh, I have Edgar Brookins on the line right now. Edgar, are you on? I'm here. Can you hear him? Oh, take it off speaker. Okay. You know this is live, so I'm just trying to be obedient here. Okay. Okay, it's off speaker, Jacob. E Edgar. Yes, I'm here. Hey, yes. Edgar Brookings on the line. He is the general manager of Afro American newspaper. And um, I'm so glad you were able to call in. We are, I'm on the committee and we are having a extraordinary event for this man of God and a man who has helped so many in the community uh, through this fine newspaper. And if you know Edgar, Edgar's the kind of person who will make the party um, at your party, but he has never celebrated his birthday in grand style as far as a party in 70 years. So he's turning 70, and uh, we are celebrating him, Pam, Dexter, his son, and, and, and a host of people. Um, uh, and Dwayne, and, and we are going to be celebrating his birthday on this Next Sunday, the 12th, right? Yep, this coming Sunday, the 12th of uh, November. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about, you know, why you gave in and why this is so important to you. Edgar Brookins from Afro. Well, my son approached me about a month ago, actually a little over a month ago, and said, Dad, you know, you're turning 70 years old, so it's about time you had a real birthday celebration. And initially, I told him, no, no birthday parties is just not my thing <laughs> but as we talked and discussed further i thought and said well okay Jessica, i will agree to do it if and only if we could turn the birthday celebration into a fundraiser to raise funds to donate to the lupus foundation in memory of in name of my daughter sierra who died back in uh december 2016 from complications of lupus yes sir so i want to do something to raise the awareness of lupus in the african american community and at the same time uh collect funds that we could donate in name of sierra because she was my heart sake she was yes. my all in all and so i agree if we do this particular fundraiser but not just do a fundraiser because I'm a prostate cancer survivor myself. Glory to God. I want to add that into mm. the equation in terms of prostate cancer awareness. And lastly, as I think you had mentioned earlier, this is Veterans Day weekend. So yes. I want to be able to salute our veterans yes. all under that one umbrella at that program. Yes, sir. I'm saluting you right now. <laughs> okay, I'm saluting back. <laughs> Yes. So I just wanted to bring you on because we're we're going to have a lot of fun with you that day. Uh, we have um, uh, Dwayne's going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one interview right off the top. We have singers and fashion show with Vivian Anya by Vivian and one other. We have so many great things. What what yeah. are, what are you looking forward to that evening? Well, you know, as you say, it, it's kind of a it's a collection of several. Uh, presentation all on the one umbrella as you said uh, a, li a live interview uh, then we're gonna have a uh, presentation by some uh, brothers who know me real well huh? they're gonna tell the true story about who is Edgar uh -oh. I, I gave them two you got two minutes to say what you gotta say if not <laughs> I'm gonna ring the bell <laughs> we have a young man who is a violinist is gonna do a violin solo for us then we have a special musical treat. And we also have a group from my church, which is the gospel service at 
joint bass Meyer Henderson Hall. Yes, uh, sir. Going to do a couple of gospel selection also. So it's going to be a collection of several things capped off with you and the uh, fashion presentation at the very end. Yeah. And uh, Andrea Rome from Charles oh, Manor, yes. the MC. This will be a great, fun, fun afternoon, that's for sure. Yes, oh, Andrea Rome is the best. I mean, she goes, she's the veteran of all, you know, with the Maureen Bunyans and all of them. I love them. Yes, yep, this is going to be yep. a star-studded event. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. You know I love you, E. That's that's my nickname, y'all, E, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we feel the same way about you, uh, Renee, because we know that you are out there uh, in the community doing your thing, uh, supporting, helping, assisting, giving folks opportunities for exposure of their programs and events. So we salute you both Thank as you, a sir. veteran and as just a good a community person doing your thing. For Thank sure. you, sir. There you go again. Turn it around off for you. See, okay, but I'm going to be obedient and accept all that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. But it's all about you. And on Sunday, we're going to make sure you know that, okay? Absolutely. I appreciate it, okay? No problem. Love you. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Again, that's Edgar Brookins. I mean, everyone in the DMV knows him. He covers everything to make sure that we know what's going on in our communities. And the Afro-American newspaper is just, to me, just a wonderful platform uh, for all. So um, not just African-Americans. I mean, although that is um, what um, they really bring to the forefront, it's really for all people. And I really respect them so much. So thank you so much, Mr. Edgar Brookins. Well, we're going to take a short break. Um, we have the Spectrum Circle. Let me show that first. You know, dear dear friend of mine and uh, original co-host of the show, Karen Marie Austin, she has a wonderful, wonderful luncheon every spring um, for the Spectrum Circle, the Spectrum Circle Awards. I think if, you're, if you want to nominate a spectacular, fabulous, outstanding woman, I think it's between October 1st and December 1st, the Spectrum Circle. Just find it on Facebook and um, let her know in the board why you think that person deserves an award. It's this fabulous, and I mean fabulous, event that she gives each year. Um, I'll be there. Um, it's just going to be wonderful, and um, we'll talk more about that as time goes on. Um, I think I've touched on everything. We're going to get ready to take a break. And uh, one of my favorite singers, uh, the Wyndham family, of course, but one of them, uh, one of my dear friends, Stephanie, is married to Michael Wyndham. And of course, I love this song, Progress Report, because we all are, you know, different decades of our life and different times, and you're going to change each decade. You're not the same person. And what Progress Report are you making in your life and, and for others? So hopefully we'll have that song queued up. And um, the God's You logo, um, which are doing really, really great work down in Florida. And we will return with the launch was yesterday. I missed them by one day, but they're here in the studio. And it's born to be me. I have four of the 19 extraordinary, phenomenal women who have poured into this book to help women around the world. And they are right here. And I'm going to bring them to you. There they go. Bam, boom, pow, As soon as we get back, stay tuned. Mother, I wanna know how I made you proud. And to my father, I wanna know how I ever been a problem child. And to my pastor, I've been trying to be in church a little more. And to my lady, just a pleasure, cause God's still working on me. My producer, thanks for keeping the young fella on the beat. 
Into the soldiers Going out there and risking your life for me It's my lady just have visions Cause it's too working on me now show on WLBS radio the largest online radio broadcast in the United States we're right here in the nation's capital across from Howard University with four dynamic women born to be me hey Hello. ladies hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> thank you for having us I You're love so that by the way that is so yeah. thank you I have thank to have you. one I actually um Joe Braxton who's here today he makes these are called lapels four a cause, oh. you might want to get one for Born to Be Me. He's oh, right yeah. over there. <laughs> but, oh, but for now, yes, yes. But for now, listen, this just launched yesterday on the 7th, right? Yeah. I'm so excited to have y'all here. But first of all, because of course, Jen Hex, her uh, radio show was right before mine, and we talk a lot. And when she told me about this collaboration of women and what you were doing, I had to have y'all on the show. Okay, so oh, thank let's you. start. Thank you. Yeah, so let's start with um, you, and let's just talk your name, the name of your chapter, and, and um, a little bit about you, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, my name is Mali Ponpadith, and um, the, the chapter that I wrote is called Infinite Souls, and it really um, talks about loss and healing and moving through from a physical loss into a place of acceptance and love that your relationships are eternal. Mm -hmm. And so I share a lot about my, my personal journey. There's a lot of loss in life, but there's also been so many triumphant moments of healing, of um, learning how to love again. You know, th so that's really the cusp of the uh, chapter. And a little bit about me. Um, my girlfriends are here, and they really are. <laughs> they really are my yes. girlfriends, yes. Um, Mayma and I have known each other for, Mayma and Jen, actually, we both know each other for over a decade. So we're really, really in this together. And Elaine and I met a few years ago, but we've been sisters forever, you know? And that's one thing that I want to celebrate about the sisterhood, Folio is born to be me, is these women from all over the world have a connection, a, a bond, because we're like-minded. And uh, really, this is why I wanted to be a part of, of this experience um, through this book. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much. Elaine? Thank you. Thank you so much, Renee, for having me on the show again. I enjoyed being on the show a couple years ago, and uh, I'm so grateful to be here. So uh, the chapter that I wrote is called Perspective, and it's all about how we see the world and how we choose to see the world and how we choose to move forward. And I choose to move forward having a positive perspective, and that just serves me really well, and I believe that it serves the people around me well. I believe that... Um, no matter what you go through, we are gonna have ups, we are gonna have downs. You have to learn to embrace them, lean into them, because that creates who mm -hmm. you were born to be. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know, deny or push <laughs> off, you. you know, any of those <laughs> negative and hard challenges in your life. You have to embrace them and you have to at the end of the day be grateful for them. I know it's hard in those moments when we go through things yes, to be grateful for anything that we don't like. But at the end of the day, just knowing, and this comes from, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not super young anymore, and so this comes with time, right? Mm -hmm. Experiencing things, mm -hmm. but uh, just knowing that you can choose your path, your perspective, and I hope you choose a positive one, and it's uh, available to anybody at any time through what I, uh, well, what I do every day, which is gratitude. We can all find something to be grateful for, and when we choose that positive perspective. Uh, the world is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I know it's a little different with you, beautiful, because you did the forward, I right? Did. So let's talk about that, because that's a very important role. Should I hold this or use that? You can hold it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting over a cold, so I was hoarse for about three or four days. But um, so the forward, Carol Star Taylor, who's the publisher of this book, reached out to me and said, "I think that I want you to write the forward," and I thought, you know, I'm so honored, but these women are so incredible. What can I say about them that would really truly represent all that they stand for? And so I, um, in my bio on the book, it talks about me being a, um, a cancer warrior, um, an empath, a badass, and a unicorn. And I thought you guys exemplify all that, but more, more so than that, you guys are all fearless. And what the word fearless means to me is not that you don't have any fear. It means that you walk despite the fear that you see a, a, a forest with no path, and you step into your path and build a new one, make it beautiful. And, I, and, you, and you, you're so honest, you pour your heart and souls into this book. And um, for me, working in the cancer field of women who are sick and dying and who are going through challenges, this has helped get up any woman who's going through anything in her life, because it's really about looking fear in the eye and walking into the fire. And so the word fearless, I wrote um, what each word meant to me, um, the F means freedom. It's being free to be wild and be a free spirit and be yourself and free to free your history and change your story. Um, it means, the E means endless possibilities exist. Mm -hmm. Your life is endless. Whatever you think you're, you're you think where well, I'm at the end, I'm too old, I have no resources. That's not true. That's the wrong story to tell yourself. Mm -hmm. The A stands for awakening and remembering who you are. The R stands for return to love and choosing to love because you're warriors and love is a warrior sword. <laughs> Thank you. The L stands for life decisions because making a life of uh, you want that you're born to be means being intentional. We never, we didn't get here by just kind of stumbling through life. We had to make an intention, have a vision and work towards that vision. It takes time and, and attention. The E means every moment matters. Yes. Even the ones you don't want, they matter. Mm -hmm. You, sometimes your worst experience could be your best and biggest teacher. And so everything matters, every person matters, even every breath matters. Um, the S means self-love. Um, when you look at life through a different lens of appreciation, like Aline and Molly said, and, and you're grateful for what's going on in your life, um, sometimes seeing a thing that could be unwanted becomes a blessing. For me, cancer was unwanted, um, but it changed my life trajectory in a way I could never have imagined. And, um, I wouldn't give it back because it's changed my other people's lives who I've been able to serve, and yours have as well. Um, and the last S stands for strength. You find strength when you appreciate your lessons learned, when things are falling apart. Every roadblock brings us to the truth of who we really are and who our core is. And at our core, we all are one thing, and that's love. Wow. And that's what fearless means about, and that's what you all are, are to me and every woman. Yes. Thank you. Micah. <laughs> that was amazing. That was wonderful. That was wonderful. Thank you. All right, Jen Hacked. Hello. Oh, I mean, follow that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jen Hacked.
go discuss some pheasants. I got some pheasants for you. It's your story, okay? Um, my my chapter is called The Last Mile. And give me a brief, brief background. My, um, I'm from Michigan, and uh, I was training. I'm a big tennis player. I was ranked like 24 in the country back in the day, but I had this one pivotal tournament that if I did not perform or for those scouts, there was no way I was going to be able to go to college. I mean, that was my only ticket out. Mm-hmm. And so I was preparing eight-hour tennis camps, middle of Michigan humidity summer. It was brutal. And I get in the car, and I'm out. I'm done, right? And so my dad, you know, pulls up in this dirt road, and we're about a mile from my house, and he says, get out. I said, are you crazy? I'm not getting out. <laughs> I'm like, check the seatbelt. We're secure. We're good. <laughs> and I said, I'm not getting out. He said, get out. And I said, what do you want me to do? He's like, you're going to run the last mile home. Wow. And I thought to myself, you have officially lost your mind, um, number one. And I said, do you hear that? The wild animal kingdom. I mean, there are pheasants out there. <laughs> True story. Hash, that should be treading on Twitter tonight. I mean, hashtag, hashtag I that. I want to of a pheasant in, in Yeah, Ricky, if you were watching, um, you can take a picture and text it to me. Uh, so, no, but there was wild dogs. I mean, it was crazy. Wow. But think about it. And there's a potholes, right? And so the metaphor for my life was even if when you're going through things, you're unexpected, you, you I couldn't see where I was going. I mean, I knew where my house was. I couldn't see it, but I had to visualize my path. My goals were the finish line, right? The smooth pavement ahead of me. So I just had to keep running. And, you know, the grinding of the tires, total Rocky style behind me, right? <laughs> and uh, and there were pheasants. I oh my God. heard them. And the birds, <laughs> like aerial attacks. Oh, Where yeah. Is mm. Where was this? That's in oh, Michigan. I mean, it's in like mind. in my mind. There's no no. Peasants anywhere in no, there. but the <laughs> metaphor is like, right? I mean, you're gonna cut, you're gonna have those bullies. You're gonna have those people you're that the pheasants. they're the pheasants. I mean, <laughs> take them down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And uh, no, but think about that. So you just have to train your brain. Like you visualize your path. Don't let the outside influences deter you off your path. You have to pivot when when you need to make sure. Like I, and so that was a metaphor. So when I'm finding that I'm veering off my lane and I'm not staying true to who I am, I go back to that 17 year old self and say, to, "Okay, what would she be doing right now? What would she say to me in this moment?" <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. So. Wow. Run that last mile. Run that last mile. Yeah. Is this on? Uh, Oh, okay. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, thank you so much for sharing those snippets with us. Yeah. I want to end this segment by just asking each of you, and I'll start with you, um, Jen, this time. Okay. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a woman mm-hmm. who's going through right now? And I'll say that, and I'll be very transparent, because sitting here listening to y'all today, I really needed all this, and mm-hmm. I love that every moment counts. Mm-hmm. I love everything y'all said, but that resonated because... This morning, I could have lost one of my dearest, dearest friends who was hit by a car oh while God. he was walking across the street, Dr. Mazzali. And it, it gives me chills right now to think that I would never, ever be able to see this man again because he's so important in my life. So every moment does matter, mm-hmm. you know, no matter how or what you're going through. And trust me, I'm going through at work and in my personal life. But God is good, y'all. Yes. Bring that bell, girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best of making me see yes. <laughs> So I just want to thank y'all for pouring into me today. And um, if you wouldn't mind, just, you know, what would you give that that serious little tip or nugget to a woman right now? Um, I would, you want me, oh, um, I would say, I mean, number one is <coughs> kind of think of like running that last mile. Like, did you dig deep enough in yourself? Like when you want to quit, when you, when you have those people, those outside influences coming at you saying, oh, you're not good enough. You're, you, you're not going to be able to do that. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you should just give up now. Just know that they, those people aren't happy with who they are and they want you to fail. And so, I mean, I take the competitive side of it and say, oh, just watch. <laughs> I will run that last mile. So run that last mile. Um, so what would I say? I, I would say two things I had to always cheat, but I would say that your soul always knows and to follow your soul purpose. I think that in this world, we forget that everybody would meet somebody else's child. And so I impart upon people that you, your soul knows what you want to do and you're here for a finite amount of time. And, um, I believe, I love the saying that a warrior's sword is love. And so follow your soul. Um, it's not about money or who you know or who knows you. It's about if your life were to end today, would your soul be happy in what you accomplish? Not a meaning the things that you built or the money or the fame, but do you go to bed at night thinking, my soul did what it had to get done today? 
So what does your soul know? Listen to that soul pur- voice and follow that purpose. Mm-hmm. And then always try to act in love because um, yes. we forget that the other person is, we're seeing them as that person, but we're all one person in one body and one God, whatever you call God. And so whatever's happening to you, think about how can I act in love to make this situation better for myself or for somebody else? And how can I be the person's teacher through how I behave, right? Yes. Um, so those are my two or did I do three? <laughs> Sorry. I love it. I love it. Right? Yeah. Preach. Yeah. Preach, yeah. sister. Preach. <laughs> 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 you are crazy, and I'm still sober. <laughs> um, you know, what would I say to someone who's going through some things or going through it right now? I tend to lean on, um, well, you know, for example, your friend who was hit, he, he's okay. A little okay? fracture, well, yeah. a fracture on his hip, but okay. he's okay, he's alive, thank you. That's, yeah. Yeah. So that's thank what you, I focus Dr. on. Thank you, Dr. Wallach, yeah. for all the great vitamins and minerals you've been pouring into mm-hmm. Dr. That's Ma- right. Bruno. <laughs> that's right, so that's what I focus on. He could have died, but he didn't die. He's here, mm-hmm. and so he went mm-hmm. through that. We can't take back what happened. You know, accidents are gonna happen, tragedies are gonna happen, some are completely random and by accident, some things that happen in our life we bring to us, we cause, people cause them to us. Mm-hmm. We can't control it. We yeah. can only control how we think about it mm-hmm. and how we get react, through it. And yeah. the way I, the advice that I would give and the way that I get through things is, but he didn't die. He's still here and he's got you, Renee, and I'm sure a large support to take care of him. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's what we lean on. All of the positive that we can take from that from that moment. You can't control what happened, but you can control how you move forward. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you for that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. you. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the advice I would give is uh, a mantra that I live by when things get tough and uh, every day has ebbs and flows. And I always remind myself, and I want to remind all of your viewers and listeners, everything is as it should be mm. or it would be something else. Mm. There's got to be a divine trust and love when things get hard because if you don't have that, if you don't have a divine trust, and if you don't honor and love your intuition... Um, that came with you, by the way, <coughs> so you just switch it back on, uh, then life is very chaotic, and you're choosing that. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Wow. You ladies are really unbelievably gifted and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beauty and brains. <laughs> I love you. it. I love it. Thank you, Renee. Listen, <laughs> uh, could one of you share with how they can get a hold of you, <coughs> how they can get this book, how to reach you for, um, you know, meet and greets or whatever? We're going to, you can go on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. It's available everywhere now. Uh, and it's a number one international bestseller. Oh. Yes, very excited. <laughs> Um, and then, um, so we're going to be doing some more um, media, uh, media, pa- media appearances and then book signings, so stay tuned. You can find uh, me on the datingadvisoryboard.com. I'll be posting it in the media and events section. Mema? Mema Karma Official, or, <coughs> excuse me. Mm-hmm. <coughs> or Mema on Twitter or on Instagram at Mema Carmo. Mm-hmm. Yay! Mema! Mema! <laughs> Same here, all the social sites, Elena Spinola. You can find me there and you can follow us to find out where these yes. book signings are going to be. We're going to have a whole bunch in December. Yes. And Mali Ponpadith and SOAR Community Network. So the handles are Mali Ponpadith or SOAR Community Network. Oh, my goodness. I, I could spend all night. But thank you so much, ladies. Thank, thank we'll you. have to have you back maybe in December. Yeah. yeah. Right? Thank you, so much. thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you Stay right there. We'll be right back after this short break with Joseph Braxton. Lapels for a cause. <laughs> Questions echo in my mind Won't leave me alone I walk these empty streets at night I'm far away from home I'm living in a no man's land Wandering without a plan Falling when I try to stand I'm fading as I'm waiting It's a lonely world without you And I'm a lonely soul waiting for your return You're the hope that I hold on to I am here I 
to the Renee Allen and Friends Show. We are having a ball here in this studio tonight. I am sitting yes. with not only one of my <laughs> dear friends, but also a phenomenal person. Anyone who knows Joseph Braxton knows his heart. He is so transparent. He's a community lover of people, all people. Um, and I just wanted to have you on because I yes. talk about the lapels all the time. Yes. Can you tell them a little bit about yourself for those who don't know you? Yes, um, Joe Braxton, um, the author of Still Breathing, How to Gain Your Life After Being Robbed. Um, also the creator of Lapels for a Cause, um, lapel flowers, lapel pins. <laughs> um, I'm a social advocate, and I guess that's about it. <laughs> yeah, yes, <so. laughs> yeah. And he helps yeah. everyone. There you go. And um, you are actually the first cousin of the Braxtons. Yeah, uh, we're down distant cousins. Down distant line, cousins, yeah. yes. Hey, uh, look, yeah. first distance, you, you're still Braxton blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Braxton, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and you know, of course, Tracy Braxton is a friend of the show. She was on about a year ago. And, and uh, Cliff Jones, I'm a range dad. It's just, you know, we're just a happy family. You know, mm -hmm. we have ups and downs and good and bad, but we all are just like what the um, Born to Be Me lady said, all in love together. So um, I wanted to, you to tell them how to get a hold of you for these wonderful lapels. And let me tell you, um, I, I spoke to the girls um, for the book Born to Be Me, and, I mean, when you have an organization of anything, you can just have, if you could do a little close-up on this when you get a chance, um, Jacob, you can have... Um, Joseph Braxton just customize a, yes. a lapel pin for you. That's what I love yes. about you. Yeah, the holidays are coming up, and also if you have like any old um, like uh, label material, like um, 
you know, I can custom make a pin out of that. That would make a great holiday gift. So, I mean, you can go to lapelsforacause.com. On social media, it's lapelsforacause. That's L-A-P-E-L-S, the number four, A-C-A-U-S-E. Um, and I can custom make them make them for you so yes yes yeah. all right well i we, look this is a short segment it's just that he's always been a big supporter yes. of the show so he's welcome here he's a resident resident we're gonna get yes. a good name for you okay yes, your I own do. category <laughs> <laughs> but we'll yes. be right back with tammy turner thank you from playtime is over and you don't want to miss it thank you so yes. much i yeah, love thank you, you. Mm. thank you we'll be right back thanks segment before we have to say goodbye look i have a sensational performer dancer and now singer right yes yes <laughs> <laughs> tammy turner y'all <laughs> how are you beautiful? hello renee wait a minute i have one correction yes ma'am. now i can sing mm -hmm. and i can act a little mm -hmm. bit too mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and uh i do a little bit of poetry uh -huh. but y'all i can't dance <laughs> That's not my gift. Okay, that was from the other lady at Playtime. That is was over, the other right? lady, the <laughs> other beautiful lady. There were so many talented people oh at Playtime is gosh. over with Cheryl Wood. It was amazing. It was my first experience, and I believe, you know, we frequent conferences because we're ladies yes. and we like to fellowship with them and network and all mm -hmm. that good stuff. But I am telling you, that was the best conference that I have yeah. been to. Yeah. It had a mixture of business, it had a mixture mm -hmm. of love, it had a, a just a, there was yeah. a warmth there. Uh, it was a place where you could be safe. Oh my goodness, right? breakthroughs, testimonies, trajectory, everything, it was ha you're right. We, yeah. had, we had everything going on Everything there. going on. But I wanna talk about why she's here. And look, let's uh -oh. talk about a little bit about what okay. you have done, because when I looked at your resume, you've worked with some of the best. Okay. And I, why don't you let them know about all that? The Sunday's best and all that. I thought you was going to read it. You well, you know, I don't want to read it. I want you to say, okay, mean, I'll read what? it. I'll read it. Well, look, she was a featured vocalist <laughs> Sunday's best, BET Sunday's best, open for Vicki Winans, Kirk Whalum, and other well-known artists, the Clark Sisters, Kim Burrell, I mean, B.B. Winans, the Kennedy Center. I mean, it the list goes on and on. The Stratmore, Apollo Theater. My goodness. I mean, this is a sensational singer. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna nickname you the Double S. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> I, I love your bell. Every Thank time you, you ring this, I smile. This no. does something to my spirit when you ring you know, this bell. That's why I ring it, sis. Because <laughs> I, I do. Sometimes I can get kind of excited, overly loud. Mm -hmm. So I want like, I'll do this to calm myself I down. Love <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Well, I think that mainly my mission mm -hmm. is to help people to discover the freedom and the power of, the, of their uniquely gifted voice. 
So whether that is singing yeah. or dancing or poetry mm -hmm. or acting, you know, I work with a lot of ladies who are over 30. Mm -hmm. You can still act if you're over 30. Yeah. You don't have to be yeah. 18. You know what I'm saying? In order to act. Yeah. And so I love helping women to discover the freedom yeah. of their voice. Well, you did a perfect segue because that is true. <laughs> but she helped Cheryl Wood collaborate. They collaborated together and came up with this song. And we're going to walk right on over here. Is it ready for her to sing? Is it ready? I don't know which one is the instrumental. OK, Jake. The uh, <laughs> performance. It says performance, uh, P-E-R-M. Oh. Yeah. You see it? And so, I mean, we could do it here, or we could walk up, because we only have one minute left, and I'm so sorry, because time goes by so fast We can slide. do it anywhere you want to do it. Let's do it, do it. Let's, do it do it. let's do it here. Let's do it here. You be the All first right. one singing over here. Okay. So it's called Playtime is Over, y'all. We have powerful words. We have powerful minds. We use our voices, and freedom takes flight. It's time to work, and we're ready to win. We have a strategy, and now we can begin. Look, we are standing bolder, shoulder to shoulder. Playtime is over. Playtime is over. Now you are a champion. God is a witness. Imperfect perfection, living my mission and winning. See, we are influencers. We have fear, but don't stop. I have the confidence to rise to the top. Yeah, we are standing bolder, shoulder to shoulder. Playtime is over. Playtime is, playtime is, playtime is over. I'm on a mission, I win, 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 oh, oh, oh yeah. Ah. All right, now for this last minute, we're going to go ahead and make a declaration up in here. You're going to help me sing. All right. You ready? You ready? ready? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm building my legacy for all the whole world to see you say. I'm building my legacy. Sing, Renee.